I've been a content creator since 2018. I've had multiple filled YouTube accounts, deleted multiple social media accounts, created different types of content, and had the opportunity to grow as an individual in a brand, but I didn't. Out of all of these experiences, there was one key trend that stuck out to me, and that was the fact that I never had the habit or mindset of a professional content creator. So if you're like me, maybe you're going through something similar and wants to break out of this habit, but you don't know where to start from. All I can tell you is that there is a way. In this video, I'm going to share with you five productive habits that you should adapt as a content creator to improve your time, productivity, and content. What is productivity? Productivity is a measure of efficiency of a person completing a task. It is more focused on a person completing important tasks consistently. So if that is productivity, then who is a content creator? A content creator is someone who is responsible for ideation, creation, and distribution of a content. So combining productivity and content creation, in order for you to be productive, you need to focus on completing, generating ideas for your content, creating the content, and finding the right platform to distribute the content. What are some of the best practices that you can adopt or some of the best habits that you can adopt to become a productive content creator? The first thing that you want to do is to choose information over comparison. Now, there is a lot of us content creators who are in the constant habit of endlessly scrolling on the internet, trying to compare ourselves with other successful creators. So instead of you comparing yourself to the next creator, rather focus on how is this person creating their content? What tools are they using? How can I improve my content? Like what they are doing? What are they not doing that I can implement into my content to actually drive sources. You want to focus more on what are they spending their time on? What are they focusing their effort into? How productive are they? With this type of information, you're able to drive sources for your content. So you want to try using tools that other creators are using. Maybe they're using a specific software in order to enhance your content. You want to try to learn that and experiment and try to enhance your content as well. The next thing is to choose analytical insights over numbers gratification. I know you're like, what's going on? What is she talking about? But let me explain. A lot of us content creators don't check our insights because we care about content performance or our insights. We rather check our analytics because we want instant gratification or we want to feel validated and appreciated and convince ourselves that we are doing the right thing. So if you're a content creator who is in the constant habit of maybe checking your analytics after every single day or after every few hours to see how many subscribers or followers that you have gained or how many views that your video or your content have, likes, shares, and all of that, you need to stop if you're doing this for the wrong reason. The reason I say this is because every single time you do this, your self-esteem, your confidence in your content, and your productivity level decreases and procrastination normally kicks in. This is when you're unable to actually do anything or you feel like you're not good enough and you don't want to pursue whatever you're doing in content creation. Instead of constantly checking your analytics to see how many subscribers you've gotten, rather check your analytics when you are about to go through ideation so that you can figure out which of your contents are doing better so that you can focus your effort into that specific type of content and try to enhance other content to see what you're doing wrong with those other content and how you can make adjustments to them and improve the next time. Another habit to adapt to become a productive content creator is to adapt planning over going with the flow. Now, I know you have heard that when you want to do something, just get up and do it statement thrown around a lot. That is quite true. If you want to do something, get up and do it and stop procrastinating, right? But that doesn't mean when you are getting up to do it, you do not have a sense of direction. Make sure that when you want to do something, always have a sense of direction. Instead of just going with the flow, make plans. Have a backup plan as to where you can fall back 
whenever you need to reference something. Planning out your content before production or even planning what you are going to do during ideation stage or distribution stage is very important because it helps you save time in creating your content or generating ideas instead of endlessly scrolling on the internet you could set time limits as to how long you're going to find a specific idea for a specific content and how many research topics or information that you need for a specific content setting limits to things actually give you a clear and give you more space into understanding what exactly you're about to produce and how many information is needed within that specific content so instead of mindlessly now scrolling on the internet you have something to look up to and you're like okay I am going to ideate for 30 minutes I'm only looking for three articles and then from there I'm gonna move on to like planning my content and when I am planning my, planning my content I'm not gonna be distracted by others um, by other unnecessary things that pops up on my PC or like my phone i'm going to turn my phone off at this specific time and just focus on ideating and then after ideating maybe on tuesday i'm going to create all of my content that i have ideated and then maybe within next week i'm going to distribute this content with this in mind you have a clear sense of direction you may not have everything figured out but at least you have given yourself time limits to complete a specific task. This will save you from starting up tasks or projects that you cannot complete. And every single project that you cannot complete doesn't quite turn out to be a project because it is not a project. It is only a project when it is successfully completed and implemented. As a content creator, you need to adapt curiosity and avoid being too comfortable. So you want to pick curiosity over comfort. Now, this is important because when you're curious, you give yourself opportunity to find new ideas. And when you are willing to learn, you improve your skill. And when you are willing to adapt to change, you give yourself a wide opening for growth. But if you are the opposite of this and you're constantly too comfortable creating maybe a specific content or you're too comfortable with how or where you are as a content creator or with how you produce your content that becomes a problem because there will be a time where you become super biased even though you are supposed to be open to change you are going to refuse to accept change as this they come within the industry because you are just too comfortable with what you do you're too lazy to move forward as a creative so most times other content creators you will see hopping onto new trends is not because they want to hop onto new trends but rather they are open to changes they know that the digital marketing landscape changes a lot and as a creative you need to be fast with capturing new things and implementing them in your content strategy so instead of being too comfortable with how you create your content not wanting to listen to anyone rather open your mind up for change try to be curious try to research things find new ideas on improving your content and most of the time people who are kind of too comfortable are the ones who are always blaming the algorithm or their audience doesn't want to consume or the social media platform or whatever platform they are on is a scam because they want to blame everyone else around them but themselves without looking within themselves to understand that they are the cause for not being able to grow on a specific platform or being stagnant at a specific point in time so if you are a creative with that set of habit you want to try to move or shift yourself from that specific habit and go into curiosity to try to improve your content try to accept change as a creative and you are going to see a massive change in your growth rate your content quality and all of that the last habit that you want to adapt is to consume less than consuming more now there is something called analysis paralysis 
when you are constantly over informed you become paralyzed by the multiple content or the multiple information that you have consumed and in most cases this actually stop you from using the information that you have gathered because you don't even know where to start from because you're too overloaded with information. So instead of consuming more than what you need, try to limit yourself and consume what you need. Sometimes we scroll and scroll and scroll, maybe doing ideation process, we're trying to find ideas for our content. You will find someone scrolling endlessly, they'll come across this idea but can't pick that idea because they're thinking about an idea that they remember seeing maybe a few times ago. And then when it comes to creating their content, it takes them forever to create the content. Some people can't even start with what they want to do because the information are too many, they're indecisive and they don't know where to start from. So if you're a creative who consume more information than you need, you need to limit the time you spend researching. Like I said earlier, you wanna put time limits to things you wanna set specific time goals for yourself or atom goals like maybe you want to find three reference points to inspire your content. You can put together those three and generate a new and fresh idea from it or maybe you want to do less or you want to do more but there should always be a limit to the amount of content that you consume because if you don't have limits to the content that you consume it can put you in a space of not even getting started you're gonna feel stuck and you're gonna be confused and lost in adapting these habits there is a high chance of improvement in productivity time management content quality as well as the type of contents that you put out as a content creator who have been in this position for a long time ever since i started implementing these tips i have seen a huge shift in my emotions my productivity time management as well as my content Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video was helpful. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and share this with someone who needs to see this. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.